Uh, hello everybody and welcome to my second Adobe Flash tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you how to make um, a bouncing ball like it's not the normal ones like you see in pivot and stuff it's something different it has a squishing effect okay first thing you do open the Adobe Flash CS3 file and then change the frames per second to 20 okay then click OK now uh, first thing you have to do is create your ball so click on the oval tool and make sure you press shift as you're drawing this or else it's gonna look uh, like this see it doesn't look too good okay control Z okay now let's change the color of the ball let's change it to look let's make it red there's red okay now you change the type one second okay now change the type from solid to linear make sure it's linear okay now next thing you do you change the black one if it's black for you you change it into white okay and make sure you change uh, they're on the same sides as mine are the red one on the left side I don't know which side it is for you but for me it's on the left side the white one on the right side now you press V and uh, sh um, press the center press on, click on the center one and move it around so the shine can change its position to the side it doesn't look too good but I'm doing it really quickly okay now you have your ball and the uh, color and everything you need now you rename the layer oh no no before that you convert it to a symbol name it ball and make sure the registration is on the top, top left corner and uh, make sure it's a movie clip okay and press ok ok now what you do is you rename layer 1 ball one second. There we go. Okay, ball, and then insert new layer and name it line. Okay. Now make sure you, uh, you're selected on the line layer and go to the line tool and cr make a um, line. Make around 4.75 the width. Okay, now put uh, position the ball at the top, and um, I have the line and the ball. It's simple. Now, next thing you do, I'm gonna make it 35 frames. So you highlight them, press F6 for new frame, and then go to the line last frame, right click. Wait. Yeah, right click and put clear clear, clear keyframe. So we don't need that. Now go to the 18th frame and add a new keyframe F6. Now go to the first one. Position I'm going to position it a little more at the top. Here at the bottom, we have to place it at the bottom. Not there more down okay there we go now we go to the last frame not that yeah that one and we position it at the top make sure it's the same as the beginning so a little more up okay that's it now next thing you do it's um, press click anywhere right click anywhere in between the two spaces of the frames and click create motion tween do that with the other space so 
now you have it um it it has to look like this uh, sorry my laptop's slow again okay see it's like that but it looks terrible so we're gonna change it a little bit press x now all we have to do is press on the frame in between the first uh, motion tween and we go to the E is um, is selection bar on we put it uh, to ease in by minus 100 negative 100 now it should look like this see it's faster when it's going down than when it's going up but it still looks bad so now we go also the same thing but on the other side but now we make it to ease out so 100 or positive 100 okay uh, now it should look like this it's a little better but uh, we're gonna want to add the squishing effect to it it's really simple um, it's gonna take you two minutes or so okay all you do is let's see now you you go to the 18th frame where you have the oh that's wrong control Z okay now you move the one at 18 to 15 and then you go to to the 18th again and make a new keyframe I mean 19th sorry and you go to the 22nd frame you can see it down there and you insert a new keyframe F6 okay now um, all you do is at the 19th keyframe you press um, um, the the free transform tool which I think is Q I'm not too sure yeah Q you click on the ball and then you make it smaller and fatter wider okay now you go to the 22nd wait first you position it down like on the line so it can look much better now you go to the 22nd frame and now all you do is make it taller and slimmer so first slimmer then tall okay now you position it down on the line again and now it should look a bit like this slow again okay here you go doesn't look too good on mine because I'm making it in a hurry but you can take as much time as you like okay now all you have to do we forgot this to go to the second part of the uh, motion tween and we put uh, the ease to 100 positive 100 so it can look much better so it doesn't stop at the top see okay so that's how yours should look like if you're not doing it in a hurry Thanks for watching the second tutorial of Mishu stuff and uh, I hope you subscribe and um, uh, I'm gonna make more videos.